Unit Eight: Country Life and City Life. Listen and read. Hi, Na. Have you been away? Yes, I went to the countryside for the weekend. Where did you go? I went to Kimlian. It's a village. Some of my relatives live there. I've heard it's a beautiful place. It is, and it's very quiet and peaceful. I had a really nice weekend, but I don't want to live there permanently. Why not? It's too quiet. There's nothing to do. Yes, but things are changing in the countryside. Such as? Many remote areas are getting electricity. People can now have things like refrigerators and. And TV. That too. TV is bringing not only information but also entertainment, and medical facilities are more easily accessible too. Life in the provinces is definitely changing for the better. But the city has so much more to offer. In many ways, I prefer the countryside. Life is simple. People are friendly, and the air is clean. Unit Eight. Listen and read. Hi, Na. Have you been away? Yes, I went to the countryside for the weekend. Where did you go? I went to Kimlian. It's a village. Some of my relatives live there. I've heard it's a beautiful place. It is, and it's very quiet and peaceful. I had a really nice weekend, but I don't want to live there permanently. Why not? It's too quiet. There is nothing to do. Yes, but things are changing in the countryside. Such as? Many remote areas are getting electricity. People can now have things like refrigerators and and TV. That too, TV is bringing not only information but also entertainment. And medical facilities are more easily accessible too. Life in the provinces is definitely changing for the better. But the city has so much more to offer. In many ways, I prefer the countryside. Life is simple. People are friendly, and the air is clean. Listen. Read. Many people from rural areas are leaving behind their traditional way of life and moving to the city. They believe that well-paying jobs are plentiful in the city. At home on the farm, life is always a struggle with nature. Typhoons, floods, or droughts can easily destroy a harvest and leave the farmer with little or no money until the following year. Often, farmers look for other work when they need more money for their family. The increase in population, however, has led to overcrowding in many cities. This puts a strain on schools and hospitals, as well as water and electricity supplies. Increased pollution is another unpleasant result. There is also a human side of this tragedy. Families sometimes have to live apart. In these cases, children may live at home with their relatives while their parents go and live in an urban area. Governments all over the world are trying to provide facilities for these migrants, but it can be quite a problem. Unit Eight: Country Life and City Life. Read. Many people from rural areas are leaving behind their traditional way of life and moving to the city. They believe that well-paying jobs are plentiful in the city. At home on the farm, life is always a struggle with nature. Typhoons, floods, or droughts 
can easily destroy a harvest and leave the farmer with little or no money until the following year. Often, farmers look for other work when they need more money for their family. The increase in population, however, has led to overcrowding in many cities. This puts a strain on schools and hospitals, as well as water and electricity supplies. Increased pollution is another unpleasant result. There is also a human side to this tragedy. Families sometimes have to live apart. In these cases, children may live at home with relatives while their parents go and live in an urban area. Governments all over the world are trying to provide facilities for these migrants, but it can be quite a problem. Listen. Fill in the missing words. Hello? Hello. Is that Lan? Yes. Who is this? It's Aunt Hang. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you phoning from? Hoi. I'm calling to tell you Uncle Chi and I are coming to visit you next week. Great. When are you arriving? On Thursday. We're arriving in Hanoi in the late afternoon. Okay. Do you want to speak to my mom? Yes, please. Hold on a moment and I'll get her. Listen. Listen. Fill in the missing words. Hello. Hello. Is that Lan? Yes. Who is this? It's Aunt Hung. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you phoning from? Hui, I'm calling to tell you Uncle Chi and I are coming to visit you next week. Great. When are you arriving? On Thursday. We're arriving in Hanoi in the late afternoon. Okay. Do you want to speak to my mom? Yes, please. Hold on a moment and I'll get her. <laughs> 